Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Liz Ndambi and today I am going to be showing you guys how I reorganized um, three rooms in about two to three days. Now I don't remember when I started and how I decluttered but I have not packed anything into storage boxes yet so I will take you guys through that when I do get the storage boxes but this is make do for now because I needed to declutter there was just been a lot of stuff happening in this house um, I'm gonna take you guys through the whole process and then um, I'm gonna show you guys the end results and I'm probably going to add voiceovers in some of the end results because I was not speaking at all it was just so loud and rowdy with the twins hopefully you guys enjoy this and it encourages you to declutter as well and get rid of anything that you do not need in the house and stop keeping things that are for special occasions because special occasions with a pandemic um, are not going to happen anytime soon and I am pretty sure when special occasions do come, you are not going to want that one thing. You're going to go out to the shops and buy something else. So please be sure to be motivated by this and declutter. I feel so much lighter. I feel free. I feel like a new person in general. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Please remember to subscribe, like and comment. And if you're coming back here as a great supporter and always just having my back please leave a heart or a smile i'd really appreciate it um enjoy the video guys bye guys i'm about to um tackle this bedroom that I have been avoiding for a very, very long time. <sighs> so, this is um, the third bedroom in our house. It is messy, guys. It is so messy. The thing is, every time there is something to set out, we literally just shove it in there. Um, Muffin is the one that sleeps in there, so we just shove everything in there, and now it's just gotten out of control hopefully soon I can get some storage boxes as well so I can put all those things in um, I'm trying to avoid taking everything to the garage so I'm just going to try and pack everything in there although we are hoping that when it's time to have another child we can move the boys into that room because that room is a little bit colder so unfortunately for them they will have to deal with the cold rather than a uh, rather than a newborn dealing with the cold so um but we'll figure out how to make it warm for them on days when it's cold something that's safe um maybe a fan heater or something but that's not the point of this video the point is I am going to start packing the room. Guys, it is a mess. It is a mess. Walking in. So some of these things need to go to the garage. This chair was in the boys room, but I'm just going to keep it in here for now. Um, this is my friend's rocking chair. She borrowed this to us. But just look at that. <gasps> Guys, it frustrates me. Those boxes were for um, when we were supposed to have our wedding for groomsmen and bridesmaids. We have not, we have not seen most of them yet because the wedding was supposed to be this year in March and we cancelled it. So... I'm just going to take them to the garage and then whenever they come, they'll just grab a box. Um, and then this part doesn't have a door. The door is in the garage, but it fell off. 
so we are gonna need to, what 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 do they call it a wood filler um these are the kids food i put them there because the kids are here um and i don't want them touching the kids food let's see up there there's a lot of storage which i am so grateful for so yeah that's it The next day from where we started yesterday i did not show you much of my packing i am going to show you um i am going to show you how far i got and what i still need to do in that room and then i also took advantage of the time that i had and the energy that i had and i did um the linen cupboard and i did the boys room as well i do keep the twins room updated like a lot because i give away most of their clothing um so i need to keep them busy <laughs> i need to keep them busy so i put them in their little swimming pool thing so i literally now have to check them like every five minutes because they are feeling very clingy today and i need to finish because i am tired there they are the water is very low but i am gonna keep checking them like every five seconds and i know it's gonna take me forever to get anything done but i do need to get a few things done but i did a lot guys let me show you just as we are walking in okay so see there aren't that many stuff on the bed and these are actually um these are nappies these are the baskets i keep the nappies in so i need to do the nappies put them in there have that empty and then these are some things i want to give away and then these i need to put in my room these are my beads and stuff these are extra fleece liners for extra babies so see there's nothing like all those things that were here are gone vanished okay those are that's clean laundry um for Mick and i but i don't want to do anything with it because i still need to do our room okay 
muffin obviously yeah this is this is it guys this is how far i got okay. so this is it this is how far i got so okay looking here remember there were like stuff just everywhere like in bits and pieces so i kind of put everything together and put them in their places so blankets linen um, air purifier and what do they call it nebulizer let's open this cupboard so like i said i have not bought storage or any boxes so i used what i had just for now and it works so um that bag this bag has like mixed papers for school that's my spelani um that's my pregnancy pillow those are pods and breastfeeding Okay, so the quality um, is a bit different because now I'm taking everything with. I'm taking I'm taking the video with my phone, so that's why it's gonna look a bit different. My camera's battery died, so yeah. Um, I think I'm done with that. So um, those are pods, breastfeeding pillows, and that wedge thing. And then those are the boxes that I wanted to put in the garage, but I decided to just leave them in the house. I'm gonna leave them there. And then, like, this space is like so empty. Um, that luggage bag has everything, every bag that we might need in this house is in there. Um, what do they call these things? Car seats. I'm gonna leave them in here. And. These are veils and that's the, what do they call it? That's the tulle skirt from my wedding dress. I'm selling that. I'm selling my wedding dress actually. So this side is done. Okay. And then this is what this side looks like. Um, we don't have a bookshelf and I honestly like our place is very small and I hate having everything out in the open and a lot of furniture like you just run into everything so um, we don't need all the cupboards for now so this works at some point they'll have to go to the garage as soon as there's like shelving and stuff um, the small books and more books the ones up there are books that we don't use a lot so this is how far i got okay the boys room okay so those are their bounces bamboo seats i'm keeping those that's the clothing i'm keeping from the boys collection um, these are the clothes. Um, we put their prem in here, but it's in the living room right now. So I need a basket for the socks. Um, this is what the wardrobe looks like. Um, it's pretty okay, I guess. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so today I'm going to be tackling shoes and then I did this part. This is where some of the books were that are in the other room now and I need to get baskets to put these 
and I also need baskets to put those in as well so this is how it looks now I think once everything is in containers it's gonna look a lot more once everything is in containers it's gonna look a lot more um, pleasing to the eye <laughs> because not everything had its original box. Mm -hmm. 